guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're a returning subscriber as always, guys. Welcome back. And I do appreciate the support. A few hours ago when this story first broke live on uh, TV, I reported on it. And I told you I'd come back with, you know, as more information came out. And all of the uh, particulars have come out, so I'm up here close to 12 o'clock at night reporting on this story for you guys. It's the story about the high-speed chase with the U-Haul van with the four idiots in it in Miami-Dade County in Florida earlier today. And uh, guys, man, listen. The reason why these people were on the run was because they had went into a Kohl's department store, stole a bunch of stuff, got caught. Ran out the back out of emergency exit in a stolen U-Haul van that they had stole from another county and hit a police car on the way out. And that's why the chase, you know, ensued. Now, we see a rash of these uh, stupid uh, sma uh, smashing grabs and running up in stores and stealing stuff. Big group of bandits going and taking stuff and just walking out the store. This one... Luckily, had a different uh, outcome, but um, in case you guys haven't seen it or seen the other video I did, here's the story that explains it all. Check it out. Chase unfolding on the turnpike. Troopers using multiple pit maneuvers to take down this stolen U-Haul. And the chaos didn't end there. One suspect ended up dangling over the edge while another surrendered. And tonight, four people are in custody in Local 10's Christian Della Russell live now in Northwest Miami-Dade with what led up to it all. Christian. This was like watching an action movie live on TV. This is the overpass that suspect almost fell off from. Outrageous and out of control, four suspected thieves in a stolen U-Haul taking police in a wild high-speed chase up the turnpike. Officers say it all started at the Coles and Homestead. Employees calling police to report shoplifters. Detectives say they made an escape through the back door exit. The quartet getting away in a U-Haul, ramming the van into a police car, setting off the intense pursuit. A mass number of Homestead police, Florida Highway Patrol, and Miami-Dade police on their tail. The suspect car reaching dangerous speeds with a front tire blown out. It took one, two, three skilled pit maneuvers to make them stop. And just when we thought it was over, the driver hitting the gas in reverse until officers boxed them in. And here's when it got gnarly. The driver jumping out, crouching on the edge of the barrier wall. And another man appearing to try to jump over, dangling from the edge. Officers attempting to keep him from falling some 100 feet to the ground. He is eventually pulled to safety. In total, three men and a woman all taken into custody. And tonight, detectives tell us that U-Haul was actually stolen from Broward County, which is why BSO is now part of this investigation. Investigators are also telling us they believe all of the four suspects may be connected to crimes in both Broward and Miami-Dade County. Live in Northwest Miami-Dade, I'm Christian De La Rosa. As you've seen what led up to that video I did earlier with the, uh, you know, the, the live video of them trying to hang off the bridge and getting pulled up the truck and looking like total idiots. If you want to see it, it'll be in one of these pop ups at the end. But uh, this explains everything of why they was on the run, why they was riding on rims, why they got hit with the pit maneuver three times, why they tried to back up looking dumb as hell. And why the one dude tried to take a swan dive off a 30 foot embankment. I mean. Uh, end of the highway where he went to jump off that little cliff. I'm going to be honest with you, man. One of the first things we're taught when we're young is what? Don't touch something that ain't yours and you better not take nothing. Don't steal. Hell, it's in the Bible for those that are religious. You don't take something that's yours, that's not yours. You don't touch stuff that belongs to somebody else. Anything can happen in a situation like this. They could have cracked. Like when they gave him the pit move, the van could have flipped. They could have fell out into the roadway and got ran over. They could have 
run off the side of that thing. Anything could have happened. But the bottom line is this. Let's look at the two areas. First area, you felt as though it was a good idea. These are grown folk, not little kids. Grown folk, with, probably with children. You thought it was a good idea to go into a department store, four of y'all, rummage through the store, steal what you want, then run out the back exit, emergency exit, into a car, into a stolen U-Haul van that you stole from another county. So this was already premeditated. And like they said in the thing, they probably had a, uh, this is probably like an operation ring that they had where they was just running around doing this. It worked once. Hell, why can't it work again? Get in the car. On your way out. Hit a car. Hit a cop car. The chase is on. Get to the thing. News chopper catch you. From the national TV. Embarrassed. Are y'all not embarrassed? Now they're not embarrassed because this is typical ninja stuff. They don't think too far past their own damn face and make the rest of everybody look bad. And then you wonder why people point the fingers at us as a social group. And then all of a sudden, everybody's racist because they watch us when we come in stores. I'm keeping it real. Seriously, these are grown-ups doing this stuff. Where's the maturity? Where? Look at this, y'all. Anything could have happened when he was in that high-speed chase. They was riding on rims. Rims have no traction. They could have crashed into a family just driving home. Could have killed a mother with kids in, 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 in the car seat, with infants in the car. Anything could have happened. They themselves could have got killed. You see all them cop cars chasing them? You in a stolen U-Haul van with a governor on it. It ain't going that fast. Who the hell's idea was it to even do this? The part that makes me mad with this whole thing is this. Did you see how terrified they looked when them cops came and started grabbing them? The one dude was willing to risk his life falling, getting seriously hurt, killed or even paralyzed. They were trying to pull him up. If you go back and look, go back and look. He was trying to push off the wall and come out his shirt and just, just to get away from him. If you're that terrified of getting caught, don't do nothing in the first place that'll put you in said uh, situation. Y'all agree or disagree? Seriously, y'all agree or disagree? For everybody that want to do crimes, they scared to go where criminals go. Make that make sense. I ain't into politics. And uh, I'm not a fan of Donald Trump. But he said something that caused controversy a few months ago. People didn't like it, but I was like, yeah, it does make sense. Even though I don't like him, you know, per se as a person, made sense. He said everybody that do these armed robberies and just bust up in people's stuff and feel as though they're going to take what they want. They need to be blasted. The people need to write the blaster. I believe it. I wouldn't have had no never mind when them guys get out the car. Even with their hands up, the cops just molly them. I wouldn't have felt nothing because you caused this. A bunch of money that y'all can't afford to fix that van total. Can any y'all afford that? No. So that right there puts some, your, make your problem somebody else's problem. The clothes you stole and stuff, even though you took them out the store, they don't resell them. They chalk it up as a loss. Same thing, people go in these grocery stores, guys, did you notice if you go into a grocery store and you bring stuff up to the counter? A lot of times when you bring it to the counter, if you ring it up and then they got to avoid it, they don't put that back in, in, in stock because it's food. It counts as lost. They throw it away. Retail is a very touchy thing and they have high insurance. You don't think Cole's insurance went up? Just because somebody felt this though, they didn't want to wait in line and use work hard and get spend money like everybody else. They want to take something that ain't theirs. Breaking one of the first parental commandments we ever had as kids. I feel nothing for you. It's nobody's fault that you can't follow simple directions. They couldn't even follow a lawful uh, thing. When the cop turned his lights on and this, you should stop. You got three dudes in the car. One big chick that can't run. No way of a foot pursuit entail. Why is she even with y'all? Like I said, these probably got, got, got children. 
More than likely. Broken people raise broken people. How do you think these they, they kids are going to turn out? If their parents got those type of values of doing that type of stuff. Then you wonder why the world is messed up like it is. And guess what? The next generation after this one is going to be the one. It's going to be the worst one. It's going to be the worst one. You're starting to see it now. People running around here doing stuff to people because they feel like it. Let's go steal some stuff. Why? Because we feel like it. Well, it needs to be a rule or it needs to be laws put in place that should be dealt with people that just feel like it. Because you, just like you feel like going in there and uh, stealing what you want, there need to be people in that store that need to feel like dealing with you the way they want from you doing what you want. Because this thing is a growing thing. You're starting to see this all over the place. Just taking stuff, just acting stupid. For what? Then they would have took that stuff, stuff they didn't need. They would turn around and sell it to other people at a discounted rate to make a little bit of change off of what that stuff was worth in the store. That's like stealing a brick of gold worth $60,000 and then going and selling it for $20,000 just because you could have some money and taking a hell of a loss for putting your life and your freedom on the line to steal said item. Ass backwards. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. Thank God these idiots got caught. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.